English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Fourth edition of Interchange. The most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Exercise 7 Pronunciation Reduction of one, two, and half two. Now, in this exercise, listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Notice the reduction of one, two, and half two. And half two. One, two, wanna. Half two, half. Half two, half two. We two and I ta. Half two. One, two, wanna. Listen and repeat. Page 109, exercise 7, pronunciation. Reduction of want to and have to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of want to and have to. Do you want to go to a party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to study for a test. Page 109. Notice the reduction of want to and have to. Do you want to go to a party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to study for a test. So here, do you want to? Do you want to go to party? With me tonight, want to, wanna, go to, go to. Do you wanna go to party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I, T, Safdi, but I can't. I have to, I have to study for a test. Have to becomes have to with F, V like F sound, have to. Want to, wanna. One, two, wanna, have to, have, but have to becomes half. It's fast sound, have to, V, F, have to. Okay, let's take a moment for pronunciation. With the infinitive, to, and go, the infinitive always uses to. But sometimes we do not say to. We change the sound and we say ta. Ta. We take the ta sound and we put it on the previous verb. So for this one, we say like ta. Like ta. Repeat the sentence. I like to go to the movies. I like to go to the movies. Let's look at another verb. For example, need to. We change the sound and we say need to. Need to. Repeat. I need to study for the test. I need to study for the test. Very good. Let's look at the next one. Want to. We change the sound and we say wanna, wanna. 
I wanna eat Italian food. I wanna eat Italian food. Very good. Let's look at the next one. I have to. We change the to sound and we say have to. Have to. I have to work tonight. I have to work tonight. Very good. Now we know that when we use have to, one way to change the pronunciation is saying have to. I have to work tonight. But an also very common way to say have to is gotta. We change the sound completely and we say gotta. I gotta work tonight. I gotta work tonight. So remember, when we use have to for obligation, we can say have to or gotta. Very good. Exercise number eight, grammar focus. In exercise number eight, this is grammar. Page 109, exercise eight, grammar focus. Invitations. Verb plus two. Do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Sure. I'd really like to see a good comedy. I'd like to see a movie, but I have to work late. I'd equals I would. Would you like to go to an art festival? Yes. I'd love to go to an art festival. I'd like to go, but I need to study. 8. Grammar focus. This is for grammar. Invitations verb to. Invitations to invite somebody. To invite someone. To invite someone, you can say, do you? Do you wanna? Do you want to? Do you wanna? Do you wanna see? Do you wanna? Main verb, infinitive. Do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Sure, sure, of course. That means yes, yes. I'd really like to see a good comedy. I'd really like to. I'd really like to see a good comedy. I want to see a good comedy movie, a good comedy film. Do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Sure. I'd really like to see a good movie tonight. I'd like to see a movie, but, but I, but I have to work late. I'd like to see, but, no. Again. Do you want to see a movie? Sure. I'd really like to see a good comedy. This is yes. Do you want to see a movie? I'd like to see a movie, but, but, no, it means no. But I say, but I have to work late. But I am very busy. But I am sick. But I have to travel. Do you want to? Plus main verb. I can say yes, sure, I'd like, sure I'd like to. No, I'd like to, but I'd equals I would. The shortage of I would will make it I'd. Would you like to? So number one, do you wanna? Number two, would you like to? Would you like to go to an art festival? Would you like to go to an art festival? Yes, I'd love to. Yes, sure. I'd love to. I want. I'd like to. I'd love to. I want. Yes, I'd love to. I'd like to, but I. I'd like to go to an art festival, but I need to study. 
So here, no. I'd like to, but I need to study. I'd like to, but I have a lot of work. I'd like to, but I am sick. I am ill. I am not feeling well. Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the cinema? Would you like to go to an art festival? Would you like to go to the Egyptian museum? Would you like to travel to Alex with me? Would you like to travel to her gala? Would you like to travel to Sharm el-Sheikh? B. Yes, I'd love to. C. Would you like to go to Alexandria? Would you like to travel to Alex? I'd like to, but I, but I have a lot of work, but I am busy, but I have an exam, a test. And now, let's have this PowerPoint presentation with Mr. Kyle and his new channel, My English Brain. Please. Subscribe for Mr. Kyle's channel. This is the favorite channel for English for Arabs. Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we're talking about invitations. All right, let's get started. Okay, now it's time for our grammar. But let's look at this sentence, things I like to do. From the picture, we can say, I like to eat at restaurants. Now, let's focus on this part, I like to eat at restaurants. Now, in English, when we have two verbs, for example, like and eat, we cannot put the verbs together. We need to separate the verbs and we need to put something between them. So we put to. I like to eat. And when we use to, and a verb, we call this the infinitive, the infinitive form of the verb. So, when we have two verbs, the second verb often is in the infinitive, to and the verb. And we often use the infinitive with verbs like these. For example, I like to eat, I want, to eat, I need, to eat, and I have, to eat. These verbs, like, want, need, and have, are always followed with the infinitive. Now, the verb, I need to eat, and I have to eat, are obligations. They're very strong needs. I need to eat is an obligation. And I have to eat is also an obligation. Now, these verbs with the infinitive are very common. And they're common in our grammar today. And today's grammar is invitations. For example, this invitation. Would you like to go to a movie? Notice we use the infinitive. Would you like to go to a movie? Now, with this invitation, we are using the word would. And would, and the verb, is our form of using a hypothetical. It's often used for invitations. So remember, would, and a verb, is the hypothetical in English. And we often use it for invitations. Would you like to go to a movie? We have another way to ask and we can use do. Do you want to go to a movie? Again, using the infinitive. So, two ways to make the invitation. The first way with would and like and the infinitive. 
would you like to go to a movie? Or with do and want? Do you want to go to a movie? Now, in the response, the person can say, sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Again, with the infinitive, I'd love to go to a movie. Now, I'd is the contraction of I and would. I'd, sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Or the person can use, yeah, I'd like to go to a movie. Now, when we say yes to the invitation, it is not necessary to repeat the entire invitation. So, we usually just say the short version, and we say, sure, I'd love to, or yeah, I'd like to, but it's very important to use the to. Now, when we want to say no to an invitation, to be polite, we use the short form to accept, and then we use the word but to show that we have an obligation and we cannot go with the person. So we say, sure, I'd love to, but I have or I need and the infinitive to show the obligation. So, sure, I'd love to, but I have to work. The obligation. I have to work. Or maybe, yeah, I'd like to, but I need to study. Again, the obligation to study. So to review, when we ask someone an invitation, we have two ways. We use would and like, or we use do and want. We always are using the infinitives. For example, would you like to go to a movie? Or do you want to go to a movie? To say yes, we use the short version and the contraction of I would, I'd, sure, I'd love to. Remember, the to is very important. Or yeah, I'd like to. But when we say no, we use the short version to accept, to be nice, to be polite, the word but, and then the obligation, using I have to and I need to to show that we have an obligation. Now, let's answer the question, complete the invitations, then match them with the response. In this exercise, you will complete the invitations, then you match one, two, three, four, five, six with a, B, C, D, E, F. This is question, invitation. This is the response. Response is answers. One. Would you like to go to an amusement park this weekend? Amusement park, like dream park. Would you like to go to an amusement park this weekend? D. I'd like to, but I can't. I'm gonna go on trip this weekend. I'd like to, I want. Yes, but I can't. Why? I'm so sorry I can't. Because I am going to go on a trip this weekend. Trip vacation. Number two. Do. Do you go to a basketball game tomorrow night? Do you? Do you wanna? Do you wanna go to a basketball game tomorrow night? C. I don't really like basketball. Do you wanna do something else? Sorry, I don't like basketball. Do you want to do something else? Do you want to do something else? Number three. Would you like 
Would you like to see a play tonight? Would you like to see a play tonight? A play. Would you like? Would you like to see a movie tonight? The answer F. Tonight, I can. I need to help my parents. I need to help my mom and dad. My parents, father and mother, mom and dad. So number three, like to F. Four. Do you? Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Four, one, two, wanna. Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? A. I'd like to, but I don't have a swimsuit. I'd like to, I want, but I, but I don't have a swimsuit. Four, A. I'd like to, I want, but I don't have a swimsuit. This is for swimming. Five, do you? Do you want to play soccer after school today? Do you? Do you wanna? One, two, wanna. Do you wanna play soccer? Soccer, football. Do you want to play soccer after school today? B. I'm sorry, but I have to talk to the teacher after school. I am so sorry, but I have to talk to the teacher to the teacher after school. So number five, one, two, B. Six. Would you? Would you like to go to tr to go to hip hop concert on Saturday night? Would you like? Would you like to go to a hip hop a hip hop concert on Saturday night? Hip hop concert concert musical party a hip hop concert a musical party. The answer is yes. I'd love to. Yes, I want. Yes, I'd love to. It's my favorite type of music. Hip hop is the best type of music for me. I like it very much. So number six, E. Again, when I have would, use like to. Do you use want to, wanna? Again, the answers, one, like to D two one two wanna C three like to F four one two A five one two B. Six. Like to. E. The answer is E. B. Pair work. Practice the invitations from part A. Respond with your own information. Example. Would you like to go to an amusement park this weekend? This is number one. Would you like to go to an amusement park this weekend? I'd like to, but I can't. I have to, I have to travel to Alex. I have a lot of work. Two, do you want to go to a basketball game tomorrow night? B, I'd like to, but I don't like basketball. In Egypt, we like football. We like soccer. Can we go to Ali and the Malik match on the coming Friday? Three. You and your friend will continue until number six. Exercise number nine. 
excuses, excuses, excuses. Do you ever use these excuses? Excuses, reasons, causes for not accepting an invitation. Example, example A. Do you ever use these excuses? Check true, often, sometimes, or never, never, no. One, I have to babysit. I have to babysit. So this is often, sometimes, or never. What's babysit? I have to babysit. I have to take care of my baby, of my child, or maybe someone's child or someone's baby. So sometimes, I need to study for a test. I need to study for a test. Often, sometimes, never. Often, I need to study for a test. I have to work. A test exam. I have, I have to work late. I have to work late. Sometimes. I need to go to bed early. I need to go to bed early. Go to bed, sleep early. I need to go to bed early, often. I want to visit my family. I want to, I want to, I want to visit my family. Sometimes, I have a class. I have a class, I have a lecture, I have a course. I have a class, often. I have a headache, headache, H silent. I have a headache. Headache, pains in head. Headache, pains in head. I have a headache sometimes. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. I am ill. I am sick. Sometimes. I need to do laundry. I need to do laundry. Laundry to wash the clothes. Never. Never. Zero. I already have plans. I already have plans. I already have appointments. I have an appointment. Sometimes B. Write down three things you want to do this weekend. I want to go to the baseball game on Saturday. So you write three things. I want to visit my uncle on Friday. I want to travel to Alexandria on Sunday. C. Class activity. Go around the class and invite your classmates to do the things from part B. Your classmates respond with excuses. Your classmates will say, I'd like to, but I. I wanna, but I. And use the excuses. Number C. A. Would you like to go to the baseball game on Saturday? I'm sorry, but I can't. I need to do laundry on Saturday. I need to wash and iron my clothes on Saturday. Would you like to visit my uncle on the coming Friday? I'm sorry. But I can't. I have a class. Would you like to go to Alexandria? Would you like to travel to Alex with me on Friday? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to. But I already have plans. Exercise number 10. Listening. I'd love to, but. 
A. Tony invited some people to a party. Party. T sub D. Listen to his voice mail messages. Who can come? Who can't come? Check through the correct answers. Who can't come? Who will not come? And excuse the reason. Five messages, five persons. Page 110, exercise 10. Listening. I'd love to, but... Part A. Tony invited some people to a party. Listen to his voicemail messages. Who can come? Who can't come? Check the correct answers. 1. Hello, Tony. This is Roy. Thanks so much for the invitation. I'd love to come. So, uh, well, see you next Sunday around 7 o'clock. 1. Roy can come. One Roy can come. Roy said, I'd love to come. I can come. See you at 7 o'clock. Roy can come. 7 o'clock. Hello, Tony. This is Angie. Thanks for inviting me to your party. I'm going to be a little late. Maybe about 7.45. I hope that's okay. Can I bring anything? Call me at 914-555-2714. Angie can come, but she'll be late. She will come 740. Angie will be a little late, a little late. Hey, Tony. This is Brad. Thanks for the invitation. I'd love to come, but I have to go out to dinner with my parents. It's my mother's 50th birthday, so it's kind of important. Sorry. Talk to you soon. 3. Brad can't come. Can't come because he has other plans. Brad will go to with his parents to his mother's birthday. So number three, excuse, he's going to go with his parents to his mother's birthday. Four. Four. Hi, Tony. This is Teresa. I'm really sorry, but I can't come to your party on Sunday. I'm going to go to a concert with my friend Robert. Sorry I can't change my plans. He bought the tickets already. Again, I'm really sorry. Talk to you soon. For Teresa. Teresa can't come. Sorry, I can't come. Teresa is going to go to a concert. A concert, a musical party. Number four, Teresa. Teresa can't come. She's going to go to a party with her friend Robert and they've already booked the tickets. She couldn't and she can't change her plans. 5. Hi Tony, this is Aaron. Thanks for inviting me to your party on Sunday. I'd love to come. I'm gonna bring some potato chips and soda. I hope that's okay. If not, call me. You have my number. See you then. 5. Aaron can come. He's going to come, he's going to get chips and soda with them. So five can come. 
Exercise number 12, reading. Around Los Angeles, around LA, this weekend. Look at the events which would you like to go to. Numbers of actions from 1, very interesting, to 5, not interesting. So in this exercise, you will have five pictures, one, two, three, four, five, five events. You choose number one for you. This is very interesting. Last number is number five, not interesting. You put the numbers here from one to five. Ready to listen? Page 111. Exercise 12. Reading. Around Los Angeles. This weekend. Festivals. Bella Via Street Painting Festival. Santa Clarita. All day. Bella Via is Italian for beautiful street. Watch as artists turn the streets into works of art. This event features food, live music, a five kilometer race, and children's activities. Number one, look at the picture of number one. This, what do you see? Some young men and young ladies, a lot of drawings and paintings. They are drawing, painting. This, these are festivals, Bala Vaya Street. Painting festival. This festival for painting, a celebration for painting and drawing. Santa Clarita. This is the name of the place. All day, Bella Vaya is Italian for beautiful street. Watch as artists turn the streets into works of art. So here all the arts came and decorate the streets. This event features food, live music, a five kilometer race, and children's activities. So in this wonderful festival, they do what? They do different works of art, and these are these works of art describe food live music the music five kilometer race a race for five kilometer and of course some activities for children for kids number two two look at the picture a lot of people this is concert concert musical party uh, those are fans they like music. Listen. Music. Concert at Hollywood Bowl. 7 p.m. to midnight. Come hear some great music under the stars. Six terrific bands are going to get your feet moving. Sandwiches, pizza, and drinks for sale. Here we have music. Concert. A concert musical party at Hollywood Ball. The concert is going to start at 7 p.m. to midnight from 7 o'clock in the evening until midnight until 12 o'clock at night. You can come, come hear some great music. You will listen to wonderful music under the stars. It means under the stars, no building in open area, in the street. Six terrific bands are going to get your feet moving. You are going to listen. You are going to hear to six wonderful groups of music. Bands, groups of music. Terrific, wonderful, wonderful groups of music. You gonna dance. You are going to get your feet moving. You are going to dance under the stars when you hear 
six wonderful groups of music. Also, we have sandwiches, pizza, and drinks for sale. You can buy sandwiches, pizza, and some drinks. Drinks such as soda, Pepsi, Cola, 7-Up. 3. Look at the picture what do you see. This is Los Angeles Film Festival. It's the festival for Los Angeles film, for Los Angeles movie. It's wonderful. Movies. Los Angeles Film Festival. Various theaters in Westwood. Check listings for times. Do you want to see the best North American films of the year? More than 200 films. Seats sell out fast, so get tickets now. 3. Movies, Films, Los Angeles Film Festival. This is a festival for films, for movies. Various theaters in Westwood check listing four times. Different cinemas. Different cinemas in Westwood areas should check listing for times. Check the list which movie would you like to watch because maybe you have limited time. Do you want to see the best North American films of the year? Would you like to watch the best movies of the American films in this year? There are more than 200 films, more than 200 movies. See it still out fast. The tickets are sold fast. So get tickets now. Please quickly book a ticket. Reserve a ticket in the movies. For art. Look at the picture here. What do you see? Wonderful place. The sea, palm trees, people. A lot of people. Art. Art. Fiesta Hermosa Arts and Crafts Fair. Hermosa Beach. Starts at 11 a.m. Do you need to decorate your home? Visit this colorful art fair. Find paintings, crafts, and photographs. Jewelry, too. Food and live music. For Art. Fiesta Hermosa Arts and Crafts Fair. This fair, this is like a festival for art and crafts. Hermosa Beach. Where is it? On the beach. Starts at 11 a.m. Starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. Do you need to decorate your home? Would you like to decorate your house? Decorate like painting, drawings. Visit this colorful art fair. You have this wonderful art fair, art exhibition. What can you see there? You will find paintings, drawings, crafts, photographs, jewelry, food and live music. You will find also food and live music. Live music, this means maybe there will be a concert, a musical party. Five, look at the picture. What do you see? What's this? This is the sea, the ocean. Very big fish. This is whale. Well, this is wonderful. Now, what's this? Attractions. Attractions. Aquarium of the Pacific. Whale tour. 11.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. 
Do you want to see the largest animal on the planet? Go on a boat tour and learn about the amazing blue whale. Then visit the aquarium to see thousands of beautiful fish and seabirds. Attractions Aquarium of the Pacific It's an aquarium that it's a place where you can see fish and see animals, see birds. Whale tour. This is whale. Whale, a very big fish, the biggest fish in the sea. 11.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. So there is whale tour at 11.30. Do you want to see the largest animal on the planet? Would you like to see? The biggest animal on the planet on Earth? Of course, this is the whale. Go on a boat, take a boat, a boat tour, and learn about the amazing blue whale. The wonderful blue whale. The, the amazing blue whale, the wonderful blue whale. Then visit the aquarium. After that, you can visit the aquarium to see thousands of beautiful fish and seabirds. You will see different kinds of beautiful fish and wonderful sea birds, birds of the sea. So, should put which one very interesting, which one not interesting, from one to five, put them in numbers. Now let's answer. Read the web page. Where can you do these things? Write two places. So here you will write for everyone a place like one place to buy clothes or jewelry, the name of the place, buy food, sit indoors, be outdoors, outdoors in open areas, see a live performance, a performance which is happening now. Let's get the answers. One, buy crafts or jewelry. Festa Hermosa, art and crafts fair. Two, buy food. Where? Bella Vice Street Painting Festival. Concert at Hollywood Bowl. Festa Hermosa, art and crafts fair. Sit indoors. Los Angeles, LA, Los Angeles Fell, Film Festival, Aquarium of the Pacific. 4. Be Outdoors, Bella Via Street Painting Festival, Concert at Hollywood Bowl, Festa Hermosa Arts and Crafts Fair, Aquarium of the Pacific. 5. See a live performance. Bella Vea Street. Painting Festival. Counted at Hollywood Bowl. Festa Hermosa Arts and Crafts Fair. That's the end. Welcome! 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together. Let's look at the next one. Want to. We change the sound and we say wanna, wanna. I wanna eat Italian food. I wanna eat Italian food. Very good. Let's look at the next one. I have to. We change the to sound and we say have to, have to. I have to work tonight. 
I have to work tonight. Very good. Now we know that when we use have to, one way to change the pronunciation is saying have to. I have to work tonight. But an also very common way to say have to is gotta. We change the sound completely and we say gotta. I gotta work tonight. I gotta work tonight. So remember, when we use have to for obligation, we can say have to or gotta. Very good. State of the art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Exercise 7, Pronunciation. Reduction of when to and have to. Now, in this exercise, listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Notice the reduction of one, two, and half two, and half two. One, two, wanna. Half two, half. Half two, half two. We two and I ta. Half two. One, two, wanna. Listen and repeat. Page 109, exercise 7, pronunciation. Reduction of want to and have to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction. But have to becomes half. Sound have to. V F have to. Okay, let's take a moment for pronunciation. With the infinitive to and go, the infinitive always uses. Two. But sometimes we do not say two. We change the sound and we say ta. Ta. We take the ta sound and we put it on the previous verb. So for this one, we say like ta. Like ta. Repeat the sentence. I like to go to the movies. I like to go to the movies. Let's look at another verb. For example, need to. We change the sound and we say need to. Need to. Repeat. I need to study for the test. I need to study for the test. Very good. And of want to and have to. Do you want to go to a party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to study for a test. Page 109. Notice the reduction of want to and have to. Do you want to go to a party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to study for a test. So here, do you wanna, do you wanna go to party with me tonight? Want to, wanna, go to, go to. Do you wanna go to party with me tonight? I'm sorry, but I, T of the, but I can't. I have to, I have to study for a test. Have to becomes have to with F, V like F sound. Have to. Want to. Wanna. Want to. Wanna. Have to. Have. English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 
fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Fourth edition of Interchange. The most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This 